listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we must discuss something involving Coach Prime, Deion Sanders in Colorado. The saga continues. And I dare I say, I'm going to say this is a must win, you know, because you can't, you know, let, let this continue. You know, you got to nip this in the bud right now because there's a lot of speculation happening right now. But we all know the bad, you know, uh, blood between Colorado and Colorado State, the rivalry, uh, but it continues. Um, and head coach for Colorado State, uh, he goes by the name of Jay Norvell. He has came out on record and is he, he, he understands the rivalry. He is awaiting Colorado, Coach Prime Deion Sanders. He's ready to knock off Colorado if that if that happens. That's going to be a tall tale task. But um, one thing's for sure, two things for certain, uh, it, all the pressure is on Colorado. You know, uh, after they just got beat down by Nebraska, uh, obviously Shiloh, we still waiting on the news on that. So make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe um, because we will be bringing that news to you when it comes out. Uh, but as far as, you know, the Colorado Buffaloes, man, this is going to be a gut check win if they were able to get it. Um, I want to read some quotes from Jay Norvell. He says, this is our first time to host Colorado on campus since 1996. First time ever in Canvas Stadium, which is our gem of a stadium and which we're very proud of here. Um, he says, playing for, for the Centennial Cup, and it's always a special thing to play in a rivalry game. So he's clearly acknowledging this. He says, our kids know how important it is to play in this game like this. You know, um, so he understands that this game has a lot of smoke. That's what he came out on quotes and on records. So now I got the chief in the building with me, Chief Bartram. Uh, what's going on, man? We all know uh, the, the history from last year. You know, Jay Norvell came out, tried to tell Dion, you know, men got to take their hats off when he when they talking to him and this, that, and the third. Um, who who, who going to take their hat off, you know, come Saturday? What's going on, Chief? Who it is, you know. We're gonna we're gonna see if Nebraska's gonna start a trend, man. If people start beating Colorado and doing the doing the right on time in the in the locker room, <laughs> um, Norvell want to get back. It is what it is, Fly. He's ready for, and they're playing in his house now. You know, Norvell had a few words to say about how that. Uh, Norvell had a few words to say. I remember it. He has a few words to say about how that game was refed because someone because because uh there was some controversy over some of the refereeing that he alluded to he didn't go deeply into it but he was mad bro he did not want to lose to Dion you know especially after the you know talking about he should take his hat and sunglasses off you know it's like, oh, oh, you know whatever man but this is what comes with being this is what comes with um having the type of energy that Dion has it draws people, it draws these type of things out. You know, it, it would have been a rivalry game anyway, but they lost in double overtime last time they played them. You know, so they want to fix it. They want to fix it. And it's this is so they're motivated because they felt like they should have won last year. I am hoping that Colorado come in with that same energy because they're going to need it this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and do you, are you considering this a must win? We obviously know this is, you know, the third game of the season. But um, how do you categorize in this game for Dion in particular and the Buffaloes? Is it a must win? Absolutely. There's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the term fired. Should he be fired? Should Dion be fired? That stuff is beginning to come across my timeline. Now, whether that's real or not. Oh, you know, if, if they if they if they don't begin to see you, they Dion was brought in for the gravitas and the aura. That's cool. You know, and it was it was all nice, you know, importing soul food up there to Colorado. All that was beautiful last year. This year, they but they brought him up there to the aura without winning dims the aura flight. You know, and it makes Colorado, hey, it's what it is. It makes Colorado look foolish 
for reaching and grabbing him from JSU to bring him up there, right? Because they want the prestige of having him there attached to wins and things, you know, because Colorado is not there to be the 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 personal, you know, uh, platform for him and well-off media and all that stuff. That's nice and everything, but they brought him up there to add a gravitas to their program, you know. So it is a must win against a team that's looking to retire Dion if they can. <laughs> that's what Novell is on, like. Yeah, um, you're absolutely right. What What do you expect to see from Shador? I expect Shador. It, I, I think that Shador he caught a little flack from his press conference. Like I said the last time we was talking about this flight, I'm hoping that Shador got with his guys. You know, got with the uh, got with particularly his offensive line, but just got with his guys. You know, as the quarterback, he's the leader of the team. It's time to rally the troops, man. Now we'll see. You know what what cloth he's cut from. Rally the troops, Shador. You have to rally the troops. You have to rally them. Right. You know. Do, do you believe that Shador could be um, uh, not only – obviously people believe he's going to be a top pick, but do you think that he is that caliber of a player? Or do you think that it's the social media stuff? Because clearly he has talent. What's your thoughts in particular on Shador? Shador, Shador has talent. You know, he has talent. He has the charisma. He has the marketing. But they must hook flight. You know what I'm saying? Or else he's going to look over height. A lot of sizzle, right? You see what I'm saying? So he has to cook. He has to cook. The celebrity only is good if he's cooking. It becomes an albatross around his neck if he's not cooking flight. He yeah, got to cook. I, I agree with you, man. Uh, like I said, every they got to get everybody's best shot. And Clearly, Jay Norvell, uh, he's got something against Dion. Obviously, they would never say that outright. But uh, I don't know, you know what's going to happen with CU. But I do know that I see a lot of celebrities still coming to the game. I think he need to cut all that out. You yes. Know, uh, like I said, I don't want to see that when, when they lose it. You know, they need, to fi- oh, they need to figure out how to protect Shador. You know, um, and now, you know, there's no Shiloh. Uh, what do you think about Travis? Do you think they're putting too much um, heat on Travis, you know, on both sides of the ball? Uh, and do you think that's going to be able to translate to the NFL? Travis, I think it'll be – Travis, I think he'll be able to translate to the NFL. You know, he's in the mold of Dion when he was there. You know, um, I think it'll translate. But, again, you know, um, the other – it cannot be the Shadour and Travis show. All of them, particularly this weekend, they got to be locked in flight. Because the opposition is locked in and they want, and they don't just want, they don't want, they want to do them the same way Nebraska did. No, Novell is looking for a blowout. Look, if they do it, then he's going to run it up. If they have a chance to, they're going to run it up, Flight. They're going to run it up. They want to humiliate <laughs> What? They want to humiliate them, Flight. I'm telling you. Uh, well, listen, we're going to hope for the best. Um, <laughs> make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. We got a lot more coming to the people. Um, you don't want to touch that down. And I'm telling you, this Saturday, buckle up, because it's going to be one heck of a showdown between Colorado and Colorado State. Make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. You already know what it is. It's Flight Sports TV.